What's up, Internet? Blue Dooley here. We're going to be changing out the block heater on my one ton Dooley. I looked on YouTube and didn't actually see any specifically changing out a block heater on 98 Dodge with the Cummins. So we're going to tackle that. And I'm not going to drain the coolant. Probably make a little bit of a mess, but I got a bucket under the truck. All right. So I just moved my intake out of the way. And it's really easy to find on the newer 12 valves. It's right next to the oil filter. It screws right into the block. And like I said, I got a bucket down there just to catch any of the coolant that spills out because I'm just going to unthread it and try to jam the other one in there without making too big of a mess. So we'll get the cord taken off. Set this little guy down here somewhere. We have light. I know we have light. I'm using an adjustable wrench because I don't have the right size wrench. It's bigger than an inch, but it's smaller than an inch and a quarter. And I don't have that in between size, so adjustable wrench is for the win. Around the turbo. Put some thread sealing tape on it, just plumber tape, and we'll get that other one unscrewed and hopefully switched out here real quick without making too big of a mess, which I doubt, but we're going to try. Provided we can get the old one out. Okay, it's an inch and an eighth. I found a socket that'll fit it. Hopefully the breaker bar will give me enough leverage to get it out of there. Okay. That's a lot better. I haven't ran the truck at all in a couple of days, so it is cold. Hoping it's cold enough that I can switch it without making too much of a mess. But since it's already dripping, I doubt it. Like I said, had a bucket underneath it, so the little built dice built. Not gonna worry too much about. And it is pretty gross, so The old 
one was threaded pretty much all the way in. I might have put a little too much pipe tape on it. That's why it's a little stiff, stiff to put in there. But you definitely don't want it to leak. All right. All that's left to do is run the cable and plug her in. As soon as I remember where I set the new cable. I just got mine at Napa. I didn't have to go to Dodge and get one. You can probably get them at, well, Napa. Advanced, O'Reilly probably carries them. Whatever your parts store of choice is, I guess. It's all we is all you need to go. I did without cross threading it. Probably doesn't have to be really snug, or overly snug, I should say. It's just holding the wire in place. Yeah, an inch and an eighth wrench would probably make this a lot easier. my experience if it's a five minute job it always takes me more than five minutes and hopefully this video will save you a little bit of time show you how easy it is to do because that's that one 12 valve block heater change out I just gotta zip tie the wire out of the way and run it through the front end so I can plug it in and you're done. All right. Changing a black heater out on a Dodge. Not too bad. I'd imagine if they're a screw-in type, it'd be that easy on any brand of truck you got. Ford or Chevy, International. And actually getting it out here in the garage, get you in close. And you can see that it definitely melted through. This one been on the truck probably eight years which I know what a lot of you're gonna say that's not very long for a block heater but for five of those years the truck was pretty much plugged in all night unplugged it 15 minutes to work and then I plugged it back in at work because I was working in Casper Wyoming and it's you know minus 50 in the winter time even at noon with the Sun out so I mean Eight years of it pretty much being plugged in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm not going to complain. Again, I went with the cheap one both times, so it is what it is. Anyways, hope you liked the video. It helps you out. We'll catch you next time. I know I've been a little sluggish loading stuff up here. Work's been super busy. Haven't got much done on any of our projects, but hopefully this one will get you interested in working on your own stuff. And we'll catch you in the next video.